All right, we are here with race 10, the finale, Infinity Track. And I believe this is your monstrosity. It, it indeed is. So, what goes through someone's head to make them decide, yeah, I'm going to make a four and a half minute track and then make it lapse, so you've got to do it three times. <laughs> okay, so there was this request put out on the um, server for the endurance race. And at first, me and a bunch of other people thought and expressed their opinion that this is going to be the most boring race ever. It's a long track, no drifts, no really chance to do anything. I wasn't even going to do anything for it, but then I got some ideas. How can I make a long track interesting? And this just kind of came up. And we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see if it is interesting. Uh, it has been very predicted all season that this is going to be a bit of a... Like, we see this a lot, right? The top drivers will take the lead early and just leave everyone else behind. So that's probably what we're expecting here too. Yeah. Straight up though, we got... From the syndicate, it's me and Gambler. Yeah, yeah. It's weird that Gambler was in for this one when Smoke still needs his invite. That is true. That is true. Um, I don't remember the exact top process that we went through, but um, well, actually I remember. It, it, Gambler wanted to be on the Oh, oh bye Shubi. Uh, we've lost Shubi already. Oh. <laughs> oh. See, what I told you, this is going to be the most boring track. No, yeah. no crashes, no yeah. nothing. But it looks like Ghost not... tries to push Soul Crusher off the edge there too. Ooh, dirty. Well, Syndicate's already got four invites, right? They don't need any more. Like, surely four is enough. Uh, sure, yeah, let's go with that. All the other teams only have one each, so let's see if another team can get a second person into the finale. They're not up ahead yet. I think it's Flareox up ahead. It's interesting yeah. everyone dips to the left over here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it was you that went right. Yeah, that's true. Well, uh, the thought process there was to make the track as straight as possible. So you can actually just take the top road, no problem. Yeah. But there are boosters on the sides, so you can take a bit of a risk there if you want. Oh... To. He held it, he held it. He did, he did. It is pretty stressful trying to drive and the person in front of you is swerving like that. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's another thing that comes from the wiggle is that people are just all over the place in what is otherwise a straight piece of track. This race ended up demonstrating something very interesting is that when people are so close together, <coughs> And a new set of challenges arise. Like here, for instance, I was actually trying to avoid the uh, the optimal racing line because if I go there, I know I'm going to die. There yeah. are a bunch of times I had to just steer away from it. Yeah, you've got to like just give people enough room for their wiggle because they can take you out. And look like at this. Figuring out when to pass people and stuff. Everyone's is... super close together. Absolutely. There aren't enough elements to break up anyone. So everyone's getting draft bonuses. So people are sticking together, which in itself ended up ironically being very interesting to watch yeah this is really good like now you've taken the lead like it's just it's we've shifted leader like six or seven times in the last 30 mm. seconds oh. I think because people behind oh and see even if it's like no drifts no nothing right it should be straight but maneuver seven like this happens <laughs> oh no he got sandwiched between his teammate and me and it just goes off that's unfortunate just completely Soul crusher has been consistently doing this he takes like podium every practice session the race starts he gets wrecked yeah he tends to catch by cap though so we'll see if he can do that again yeah absolutely and here we are gary and seems to be pulling away in the jesco oh no <laughs> on two wheels uh he did but then gambler threw power pipes at him took them both out oh, that's so unfortunate i think it was gambler pushing him off two times there oh that, yeah. That's honestly on me, because I put a single booster in that wavy track, so <laughs> something like that was just going to happen, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's no, fine. Make people fight for it. Don't make it too easy. Well, here we go. We've got Gary in here taking on two Syndicate boys. Looks like we're pulling ahead. Oh, no, not quite I, I actually love this section, this like little like bumpy... It feels like a bit of a four-wheel drive section. <laughs> He's just yeah. getting bumpy for no reason. I don't there's so much, like, aerial passing in that area. Shubi's back up in fifth after getting taken out on that first corner. Yeah, he's been doing pretty well with that mini. All, like, he's been doing pretty okay all season, and then something unfortunate happens. Like, even in this race, very early on, he had that wreck, but looks like yeah. he's recovering. There's another section where you can freely pass between the two lanes. 
Yeah. It was interesting to see some people actually had different strategies here. Some people would pass from one to one. I think Animax tends to stick to the, stick to the right part. Yeah, yeah. I think passing between the two gives you just a bit more faster access to the boost, even if it is a little bumpier. And then here, it's like everyone just drops to the middle. Interesting, I think F and Flareon actually went to the right this first lap here. Yeah, yeah. It hasn't worked out for yeah, Flareon. I didn't want to put that gate there, but that is... Uh, apologize for that. <laughs> but th that's pretty much the only way to have a split that doesn't have a wall in the middle. So yeah, yeah. I apologize yeah. to anyone who had troubles with the split gate. I don't think the gate actually caused any problems. Here we are, you've pulled oh, yeah. away now. Yeah. Riga Motor of all cars, not really known for winning races. Well, you see, Riga Motor's weakness is its uh, poor handling and poor braking power. Those don't matter here, so yeah. it's pretty much the perfect car. It's... And, you know, designing the track has a few perks too, but that yeah. said, if this was Syndicate Alley or something, I wouldn't have been doing half as well. Yeah. Well, you have designed almost half the tracks for the season. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. <laughs> when I first joined this entire league, my first intention was to be a track designer. Yeah. And then slowly that just kind of happened. Yeah. No, that's so good. I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Gambler okay. and I were first and second for a brief moment there, but people kept caught up to him. Yeah. But... It's very easy to just lose a few positions for no reason here. Like everyone's just mm -hmm. moving so fast and like all over the place too. F took up the entire road there. No one was able to get past him. Oh, yeah. See, the, he's in the Jesco, and he's performing pretty well. But in the console leagues, people like Jesco was at the back. Again, it's the driver. F is a yeah. great driver, so it's really... Uh-oh. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, Gamble gets thrown. Everyone's just all over the place. He makes it to the other lane. Yeah. And Animax barely saves it. He almost fell off the middle. That was cool. And they bump each other here. And look at you, you just pulled away. There's just no catching you at this point. Well, you never know. I've, I've, believe me, even on this track, I managed to wipe a few times on Yeah, practice yeah. Runs, but. Like, it is easy to make a mistake. It's such a long race, mm -hmm. too. Oh, it is. It really is an endurance race. It tests your ability to keep your composure for that long. And if you're alone like that, you actually get no drafting bonus. So people still have a chance to catch up. Yeah, yeah, I guess there's that. But also, like, fighting people does cost you time. Like, constantly That's ramming true. back and forth, trying to dodge people who are weaving all over the place is just as costly as not being able to draft anyone. That's oh, no. This track is that... Oh, no. That's what I was about to say. Other people are more what you have to work around than the track itself. Yeah. The track isn't very treacherous, but people are. <laughs> and again, none of these are on purpose. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I like to pretend they are sometimes for like the hype and excitement of it, but I don't know that one earlier where Ghost Boy was pushing uh, Soul Crusher off the edge. That looked pretty on purpose, right? Yeah, but I'm pretty sure he was just trying to hit the boosters with so many people next to him and wiggling and whatnot. It just kind of naturally bumped people off the racing lines. Yeah, you can see I'm pretty much not drifting at all. I'm trying yeah, not yeah. To. You don't really That's have to. You really. <laughs> Don't, but I've actually seen some people drift every once in a while. And yeah, I yeah. Don't think that's the optimal thing to do here. I mean, it gives you the drift boost charge. For sure. Yeah, the drift cancelling is like definitely showing its face on these long straights. Well, gamblers pushing power pipes. Power pipes held the record in Syndicate Alley for the longest time. I actually think he kept it all the way until I released the second version. So <laughs> I knew he was a contender to look out for. This section here is just. So when people are taking up the entire road, it's very hard to get around them, but that section there just gives that passing opportunity where you can just go over people. Mm -hmm. You'll see some people will actually conserve their <coughs> user in jumping, while some will use it as fast as possible. Well, you go further if you're airborne while boosting. Like, you just, it's faster to boost in the air um, than on the ground. Which yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely something you'll notice a lot. Like, that's why you get aerial passes so often in this league is because you just you go faster in the air than you do on the ground i'm upset that we don't have the uh aerial tricks turbo bonus in this game but at least we have that so conserving <laughs> for the jumps and whatnot still gives you something to do yeah all right it seems like we're getting a pretty solid 
top of the pack here. Everyone has sort of got their little zones. Flareox is holding second really well. Uh, Gambler is just being quite rude to poor F here. <laughs> He's been fighting out for some time now. Shuby's holding third with very minimal issues. Look at this flight and see he just gained all that speed back. He passed power pipes quite easily just by being airborne. That was so cool. Gambler's pretty good at finding those points to do aerial passes on. He does a few of them in Syndicate Alley as well. I actually didn't know about that you could even do that. I yeah. honestly didn't want to risk it either. And like, but when you hit the ground, obviously you lose speed for hitting the ground. <clears throat> and having to hit the ground twice there, because there is two, technically two jumps, he's skipping one of those speed losses by just jumping over it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of risk involved though. The more you're airborne, the more you can go off course. Yeah, and you can easily lose control on things like that. Yeah, it looks like I'm still ahead. Final lap, and just people aren't even close to you. Like, we can see that car getting away ahead, and that's only second place. <laughs> I I don't know how this happened. Again, I have, like, pretty much the perfect car for this. I made the tracks. So I had a lot of advantages on my side. Yeah, but I yeah. still didn't expect to be ahead, much less this much ahead, so. Yeah, it's really good to see. Like, honestly, like, you're a big fan favorite. People quite enjoy watching you do well. Uh, everyone was really excited to see you getting the invite in Street League. Um, and obviously people love your commentary, so people are going to be super happy to see you leading a race, especially for a full I, lap. I, re I really appreciate it. I, you know, it was actually, I was actually not going to be on Ooh. this race. Uh, ooh, oh, close. two wheels again. Oh, <laughs> it's fine. He, <laughs> he does not, not care. <laughs> Soul and him has been hitting each other quite a few times, actually. Yeah, so the way that worked there is because Akira kept hitting the boost pads, that's why he was able to keep his speed up while being on two wheels uh, like that. Interesting. Oh, that makes sense, because like, if you're going past airborne while boosting, then two wheels shouldn't mess you up either. Yeah. It's nice. I was saying earlier that I wasn't even actually going to be on this race, but oh. I consistently did below average, ninth, eighth, and seventh, like literally below average. Yeah. So my teammates actually said, okay, you're going to be on the final race. We're giving you one more shot, essentially. <laughs> they really wanted me to succeed, so I, thanks, team. <laughs> they believed in you. Someone's got to. And I didn't want to let them down, so I practiced the, practiced the heck out of this track. This must be the worst track to practice on. Like, to do, like, laps and just grind out is, it just sounds you boring. Really zone out after a while. <laughs> it, it is, yeah. Like, because I've been doing, yeah. I've been grinding at Nitrobot the last couple of days, and like, you make a mistake in the first minute, and you've still got another minute of track that you've just got to, you know that it's already a bad time, and it's just a practice, like, yeah. sort of thing. So on this, imagine that, in the first minute, you make a mistake. It's another four minutes before you get your next attempt at a lap. It's, it, it, there are a few times where you think, should I reset, or should I complete this lap? Is it even yeah. worth it? And like, you got to complete Generally the lap. Speaking, yeah. Just so that way you're getting the practice. Uh, because if you reset every time you make a mistake, you'll get really good at the start and then nothing else. <laughs> Ooh, I scooped him up there. He just, so, um, Power Pipes just uh, despawned there. Oh, really? <laughs> he just I vanishes. Okay. So, for whatever reason, it just teleports him across the track. Um, thanks, Milestone. I've never seen that before. Well, you something new about Milestone every day. It does you know, that. in season one, Edward and some other people teleported at the very beginning. But I've never seen it happen mid-race. Like yeah, that. yeah. It's just... That's very unfortunate. And, like, the, there's nothing, like, difficult about the corner or anything. He just popped out of existence. Mm. And it's, it's just the spaghetti code breaking down. That's right. That's pretty much yeah. all it is. Oh, Akira's on two wheels and tries <laughs> to save it. And F's the one that cops it. I wonder what happened. I assume on, like, uh, F's end, it looked like he was being rammed to the side. Yeah, of yeah. So but... what's happened there is F knocked uh, Soul Crusher into Akira, who's gone up on two wheels. When he's tried to save it, he's knocked Soul Crusher back into F, which put F into the wall. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Well, I mean, Akira got thrown off that part at the beginning, so this yeah. happens. I like that he was scooping people up earlier there. <laughs> See, Gambler, he's retaining his boost to use here, so he can go all the way up. Yeah, yeah. Oh! 
Oh, no. Actually, <laughs> Akira did more of it. <laughs> That's the thing. More boost is more distance. Uh, and mm. he's going a bit faster. Adamax, we haven't seen him all race. And now he's up here in, what, third place? I believe he actually had a rough time at the beginning. Um, so yeah. So he actually caught up. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, Gamble puts him in a wall on the first or second lap. Oh, I see. I see. And that drops him down to about 10th place. See, when Soul had his crash, it actually slowed me down quite a bit. I went down to 8th. But yeah. Early on, I was able to catch it. it. It's part of the reason is because the packs are so freaking close. Like from eighth to third place is not as much of a distance. Yeah, yeah, that's most of the very time. yeah close together. All right, this, we're coming into the place. last few corners here. There's only like three or so corners left. And see, uh, Shuby. Well, he just dropped to six, but earlier it was fourth and fifth was Sol and Shuby, the two people who crashed early on, but they yep. managed to catch up right behind the podium. So it's still anybody's game. Yeah. Ooh. So Shuby gained so much air on that bounce there, it just it kills all his speed. Here we Shuby are. was like third or fourth for the most of the race. Yeah. Wow. He was passed towards the very end, unfortunate. It wasn't even like doing anything wrong, it's just people going fast. Oh, the drift finish. Gotta finish sideways. Big win for you, Mickey. Thank you, thank you. And that Flariox also did a great performance. He was yeah. performing super well in practice. This he year, pulled so away as well. It's just it. unfortunately it was only in second place, uh, which isn't enough for the invite. Shuby almost had that pass there. I think if he hadn't have been watching backwards, he would have been able to get that pass. Perhaps, yeah. And it's nice to see BHR finishing side by side. They're the new new guy for sure. Yeah, yeah. So we have final standings. The season's over. Syndicate has done a very convincing win, despite the fact that it was uh, nearest or winning most races. It's just that Sy Syndicate was consistent, uh, consistently in the podium with both cars, whereas it was always nearest on with just one. Um, and unfortunately, this comes with goodbyes. We have to say goodbye to our bottom two teams, uh, <coughs> Bandits and Drones. Uh, just not enough points to get through. Um, and we see this in like the results here. We've got Ghost Boy and P Man finished 11th and 12th. Oh no, wait, it was sorry, it was Ghost Boy and Power Pipes finishing 10th and 11th. Um, and that's just the sort of results that will just end the season. Right, yeah. P Man, I believe, was actually subbing for Bandit. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and Gary, and after that big wreck towards the end, dropped from 3rd to 8th. Which... Unfortunate, really unfortunate. Uh, it's uh, I know that feeling. My team got eliminated last season, but yeah, yeah, fast. yeah. Um, you can get uh... means we get two new teams next season. We've got the finale in two weeks' time, uh, and Syndicate has five of the ten slots in the finale. <laughs> That's insanity. Well, this is the part I would make a joke about me bringing the team down so that the points are closer except this time i somehow won so i can't make that joke yeah anymore. yeah it's like because syndicate all good drivers now yeah absolutely only one member i believe of syndicate didn't make the finale because it's a six-man uh, team correct smoke. yeah it's yeah smoke, i'm afraid it, it's funny like we, we talked about this earlier with my team after every single race we discuss who was the worst driver and everyone nominates themselves as the worst driver and uh if you go by points i'm still the worst driver but i, I think i still uh proved my worth here yeah yeah no it's absolutely and like it's just it's a very strong team full of strong drivers but with half the grid in the finale being syndicate it looks like someone might be leaving for a new team that is true we'll we'll see what will happen there we'll, we're still discussing some plans and whatnot but that, that's in the future yeah yeah right now it's time to celebrate absolutely yeah syndicate season champions is really good to see um which of all the drivers in the finale so we've got joda den corpseless uh yourself gambler miku uh garion power pipes i think is the representative for drones uh norton and who am i missing riptide they've got is it Jumpy? Yeah, Jumpy is their finalist. I'm not 100% sure on the drones one, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's power pipes. But yeah, so out of all those, who's going to win it? It's hard to bet against Joda and Den. Yeah. And Corpseless too. He's on there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, of course. You win four races race. in the season, you <laughs> should be able to get the finale in, but yeah. Totally, totally. Joda, Corpseless or Den? 
one of those guys. Yeah, yeah. If... I'm actually leaning more towards Jota and Corpseless. Dan is extremely strong, but if he makes a single mistake, he has a hard time catching up. And uh, Nitro, that, but... Nitro Bot's really not his track. He finished like fourth or so last season on Nitro Bot. See, I believe I know why, because Dan is like clockwork. But RNG elements like the acceleracers and deaccelerators and Nitrobot actually kind of messes them up a little, messes them up a little bit. Yeah, you can't just take the perfect it. line every time. Mm -hmm. But anyway, but so thanks for joining. All strong racers, so. Yeah, obviously, obviously. Dominant season. Um, <coughs> thanks for joining, and thanks to everyone on Twitch who came to watch live. Um, but we will wrap it up here, and we'll see you all next week for the console finale. And then the week after that for the Acceleron finale, where we will hopefully be crowning a new champion. Yeah, well, it was a pleasure. It was a uh, congratulations to all the teams, even those who got eliminated. A lot of those members proved their worth, and I'm looking forward to seeing them in the next season. Yeah, absolutely. They'll be coming back on new teams and joining new teams. So it'll be good to see. All right, toodle, everyone. Take care. <laughs>